Kia ora everyone and welcome to this video about the full moon in Aquarius that's coming up at the end of the week. Have you seen it growing in the sky, the moon getting bigger? There's a lot going on this full moon so I'll be talking about that in the video and this information is mainly from the point of view of New Zealand, Aotearoa, but it could also be from the point of view of others living in the southern hemisphere. So my name is Fiona of sunandmooncalendar.nz so the full moon takes place on Friday 12th of August at around about half past one in the afternoon. We won't see the moon, it will be on the other side of the earth at the time that the full moon is exact, but we will have the sun shining brightly maybe upon us, it is winter still. The sun is in the sign of Leo still and the moon is in the sign of Aquarius and that means that we have a mixture of hot and cold energy. Leo is hot energy of the heart and Aquarius is the cool energy of the rational mind. It's also a super moon so the moon is slightly bigger than usual. It's slightly closer to earth by a few degrees and this can intensify the energy of the full moon. So here is what the full moon will look like on the zodiac wheel with the sun in Leo and the moon on the opposite side of the sky in the sign of Aquarius. Let's look at the energy of Aquarius. Aquarius has two ruling planets with the ancient ruler being Saturn and the modern ruler being Uranus. So there's a combination of these energies with Aquarius. Ruled by Saturn means that Aquarius, like Capricorn, can be serious, gritty or tough, takes responsibility and respects duty, also can work hard. Ruled by Uranus, this brings in a different energy where Uranus seeks freedom and Aquarius does, is innovative, lateral thinking, comes out with out of the box ideas and has a sense of the needs of humanity and will often put the energy into working for big picture solutions that help wide populations. The element that rules Aquarius is air. So think of the intellect. Aquarius thinks objectively and logically is rational. Aquarius is big picture thinking so it looks down from above and it can see the details but it's thinking of big large brush stroke solutions to things and Aquarius can be very future fo focused and visionary and come up with new ideas that no one's thought of before and the modality of Aquarius is fixed and that is why I chose that picture of the very still air Aquarians are steady and reliable and self-assured and they will keep going like that until there's a big sudden change and that is the Uranus influence. They will just go along and then suddenly they'll have a complete change of attitude, a complete lifestyle change and once they have done that their mind is made up and they go back to that fixed state, that steadiness again. So this full moon, like any full moon, gives us the opportunity to pause, step back and review what have we achieved, what has come to fruition or culmination, what might now be finished and leaving our lives, and for what can we give thanks. With a full moon there is usually some added emotion and drama, but that might be a little suppressed this time because the full moon is actually conjunct Saturn, which we'll be talking about. So what else is going on with this full moon in Aquarius? Lots as usual. Okay, so always with full moon we have the moon opposite the sun. This time we've also got the planets, you can see how they're all moving around and we're getting into other parts of the zodiac wheel where we haven't been for a while. So Mercury is now ahead of the sun and it is in Virgo, new territory. Nobody's been in Virgo for a while apart from the moon. Venus is now in Leo and getting closer to the sun. Now Mars has just moved past that conjunction with Uranus and the North Node. I think last time that that conjunction had happened was over 2000 years ago. That was a big deal and it does signify new beginnings. And we are also going to be in the energy of that conjunction for the rest of the year. It is a big deal. 
Saturn is conjunct the full moon and with the full moon we have formed a grand cross and I'm going to talk about that. But first of all let's talk about Saturn being conjunct the full moon. So Saturn definitely brings a serious energy to this full moon. There, there could be a feeling of heaviness, a feeling of restriction and like we're limited. And we do just need to work through this. It might sort of suppress some of the emotions and drama, which maybe could be a good thing. And, but there's a feeling of, it could feel hard. So the good side of Saturn is that Saturn is about positive structures and keeping things organized. So we can use this review time of the full moon to think about our structures and how we're making the changes we need to. Are we doing that in a steady, systematic Saturnian way with organization. So now let's talk about this grand cross. We have the moon and Saturn in Aquarius opposite the sun in Leo. In the sign of Taurus we have got Uranus, the north node and Mars which has moved a little bit of away but it is still active and on the opposite side we have got the south node. They're all in fixed signs and that could add to the tension because with fixed signs there's a resistance to change and it might mean it will feel more of a struggle to make the changes that are coming. So with these squares and oppositions and the pulling apart and the crunching this way and that way there is a feeling of struggle and tension and this is going to be with us for the rest of the year as well as other astrological influences. It's not the only thing that's happening, but it will be a theme that we're going to feel and have been feeling for a while. Okay, Because the nodes are involved, these are the eclipse points for the year. We will have eclipses again in October, but for now they're adding to the mix and giving a feeling of fate or destiny to do with our soul's collective journey. So there's something that's supposed to be about all of this. Shortly the sun and the moon will move on of course as they go around the zodiac wheel but for the rest of the year we will still be under the influence of that T-square with Saturn in Aquarius, Uranus and the North Node in Taurus and the South Node in the sign of Scorpio. So this is ongoing. That Saturn-Uranus square played out last year and the beginning of this year and we could see that there was around the world tension between authority, traditional structures, traditional top-down ways of organizing things versus the grassroots energy, the devolved power that Uranus likes to have. Okay, And we saw protests around the world against governments where there were populist uprisings and that is going to go on at least till the end of the year. But it will also be playing out somewhere in your personal life where there's some tussle going on between where you give your authority, your autonomy to external sources versus where you are the source of your own autonomy and authority. It's a really important struggle to have in fact because out of this you might step more into your power, into your own authority and autonomy. 2022 is a year of changes and making changes that we choose to make our lives better and collectively to make the world better. The astrology is supporting us, pushing us to make changes so they will come whether we want them or not and it's better to stay above and make the choices for ourselves. This full moon in Aquarius is conjunct Saturn and that is encouraging to take us serious and big picture view of what we've done already towards changes that we want and what we still need to do in terms of concrete action steps and tangible outcomes. I recommend that as we do this review we keep in mind our heart and our head. Leo is the heart energy where the sun is and Aquarius is that brilliant innovative thinking. How can we bring them together? So here are some things to think about this full moon and you could just muse on these as you're having a shower or washing the dishes or walking along or you could use them as journal prompts and set them up and write on them or as meditation prompts. So where in your life are you visionary? 
because everyone has Uranus and Aquarius in their charts. So everyone has this visionary power, these big picture, innovative ideas. Where is that for you? How do you, how do you innovate? And in terms of innovations and creative ideas that you want to apply and implement, what concrete steps have you taken in the last month, six months, 18 months towards this? And a really important one to do with Aquarius and to do with many of the themes of this year. What steps have you taken to enhance your personal autonomy so that you are doing things for the right reasons, not just out of habitual obedience or following norms without examining those norms. Where in your life and in your personal experiences that have been coming along to you, have you noticed a tension within yourself between authority and freedom, or even between tradition and new ideas and innovations? Okay, and how is that going for you? Have you resolved things or where are you on that journey towards figuring it out? And 2022 is such a year of changes. It's a good time to take a review. What has changed in the last month, in the last six months since the Aquarius new moon? Even in the last 18 months since the Aquarius new moon 18 months ago? It's a good time to think about both internal and external changes and review how is that going? What other changes do you want to make? What has been good change? And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, how can you honour both your heart, Leo, and your head, Aquarius, and bring those two amazing powers together? So time to take a serious and big picture review with that Saturn and Aquarius energy. So there we go everyone, the full moon in Aquarius and the opportunity to take a serious review of changes that we've made and where we have got in terms of tangible outcomes in, according to where we want to go. Considering the needs, desires and love of our hearts as well as the thinking ability, discernment and decision making of our heads, combine those. So good luck. Look after yourselves. It's a rocky times, a wild ride for the rest of 2022. So take care of yourselves and the others around you. Kakite.